Hi, you all just finished a U try where you got to solve an absolute value inequality? Let's see how it went. The inequality I gave you was the absolute value of 3x minus 4 is greater than or equal to 11. The good news is your absolute value is already by itself, so we are ready to split it apart into two pieces. So the first inequality will look like 3x minus 4 is greater than or equal to 11. Is great or than, so we're going to use the word or to separate our two uh, compound inequalities. The other option, it is 3x minus 4, and the opposite of 11 is negative 11, and we're going to flip our sign around. It'll be less than or equal to. Uh, so we'll have 3x minus 4 is less than or equal to negative 11. So those are our two inequalities. They're joined by the word or because it's great or than. All right, let's solve each one separately. So the first one, I'll add 4 to both sides. So I'll have 3x is greater than or equal to 15. I'll divide both sides by 3, so x is greater than or equal to 5. On the other one, I'll add 4 to both sides. So I'll have 3x is less than or equal to 7. And then I'll divide both sides by 3. So my other option is x is less than or equal to negative 7 thirds. Or since I'm graphing that, let's go ahead and turn that into a mixed number. So 3 goes into 7 2 times. 2 times 3 is 6, so that would have a difference of 1. So negative 2 and a third, just so we can graph it a little easier on our number line. All right, let's go ahead and graph it then. So the first one is x is greater than or equal to 5. So here's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 on our number line. Since it's or equal to, we're going to use a bracket. Since it's greater than, we're going to the right. Uh, for negative 2 and a third, let's see, here's negative 1, there's negative 2, and here's negative 3. So negative 2 and a third is between negative 2 and negative 3. It's a little bit towards negative 2 on the number line. Since it's an or equal to, we'll use a bracket. Since it's less than, we're going to the left. Okay? It is an or inequality, so you're doing the union. You're putting those two together. Uh, we're not looking for where they overlap. We're just putting them both together, so they both are part of our solution. Uh, you are going to have this one in two pieces. With interval notation, you always go left to right. So we're going to start with the left piece first. How far left does it go? Uh, it keeps going forever in the negative direction, so that's negative infinity. How far right does it start? Go, well, it stops at negative 2 and a third, or negative 7 thirds if you want to write it that way. So the negative, negative infinity will have a parenthesis. The negative 2 and a third will have a bracket uh, because of the or equal to part. Okay. Then our graph kind of picks back up again over here. Uh, how far left does this little piece go? It starts at 5. And how far right does it go? It keeps going forever in the positive direction, so that would be a positive infinity. The 5 will have a bracket because it had a bracket here, and because we have an or equal to part of our inequality there. Infinities always have a parenthesis. And then these two little pieces, we're going to join them together with the union symbol. Okay, so there's your graph, and there's your interval notation. Uh, for this one.